This video is proudly sponsored by New Type. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewTypesHQ.com and use promo code UTAKABUTTER for 10% off on your next purchase. Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to another exciting episode from the good folks from Kotobukiya. So let's start things off with the 144 scale plastic model kit, R Grey 1, from the popular game franchise, Raystorm. Without further ado, let's get to it. So the moment this model kit arrives to your doorsteps, you're going to be immediately shocked on how cool this box art truly is. As for the other side of the box, you get a brief laydown on what you can expect from this model kit, everything to the weapons array, thrusters, and it comes with a nifty action base. But enough about that, what's inside the box? First and foremost, the instruction manual gives you a brief history of the construction process of the Grey 1 fighter, as well as a laydown on what you can expect for the runners of the whole entire kit. And on the second to last page is a color guide so you can do some custom painting to your viewing desire. Now as for the runner pieces, now there really isn't anything crazy to really talk about, you know, you get your standard reds, bright reds, light reds, you also don't get a lot of clear pieces, which I'm pretty sure the only clear piece you're going to use for this model kit is the cockpit and the action base. Now my initial impressions when it came to installing the LED lights for the thrusters, I had two objectives. One, find the selected plastic piece that I'm going to hollow out with a Dremel so I can actually funnel the light through the plastic piece and then glue it into place. However, that normally doesn't go as according to plan. As you can clearly see here, the pieces are actually not cut correctly, the plastic is melting rather faster due to the Dremel speed, and at the very end, it ended up damaging the pieces. So, I went with plan B, which sounds complicated, but it's actually really simple. So the areas that are gonna be housing the Omega LED lights is pretty much gonna be hollowed out to the point where I can house the LED lights in there and then glue them into place.
Thank you.